Hey there, folks. Good morning. Welcome back to the show. What's happening with you on this fantastic Friday morning? A little overcast here, actually. Had to get the, the lights back out, so everything would be illuminated. How are you doing this morning? My name is Tom Rigsby, your host for the next... I can't even bring myself to say it. For the next few minutes, <laughs> right here on 7 Minutes in the Morning show where we talk about how you can build, grow, and enjoy. That's right, enjoy the benefits of business ownership. This week we've been talking about opportunity and risk, so I'm going to give you a chance now as you are joining, and in fact, doesn't even matter whether you're joining live or on the replay. As you join, leave me a comment down there. Let me know what your questions about opportunity and risk are. We're going to try uh, a little something different. I do that frequently. Just try different things. Sometimes they work well, sometimes they don't. If they work, keep doing them. If they don't, don't. So lots, just so much good stuff has gone on this week in the videos and in the comments. I want to uh, just make a pitch here for you uh, for a second as the audience is building. Be sure to leave a comment and say hi. Yes, that encourages me, but the most important thing that it does is it tells Facebook that you're interested in the comments, and then it will let you know when one of your fellow commenters... How do I come up with a name for this group? Uh, anyway, it lets you know when one of your fellow commenters leaves a comment, keeps you involved in the conversation, and you don't miss out on anything that way. So be sure and leave a comment, and it works. Here's the great part whether you're watching live or watching on the replay. So, good morning to Joe, good morning to Jeremy. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for being here. So, this week we've talked about opportunity and risk and how a real opportunity. We started out the week talking about how we've we've been using the word opportunity incorrectly, right? And how a real opportunity, something that that that's real is going to have risk associated with it. Sorry, it's itching. And if it doesn't have risk associated with it, then it's not really an opportunity, is it? It's just something somebody's giving you, right? If I give you a stock tip, 100% guaranteed to double today, there's no risk associated with that. It's 100% guaranteed to perform. Where's the risk? There is none, right? But if I tell you about a new company that's starting up, they're going to be the next Google, the next Apple, whatever. You really should get in on the ground floor. It's a great opportunity here. Okay, now we're talking opportunity, right? So think about it in terms of a job, right? And this is where I hear it misused most often is, you know, everybody needs an opportunity for a good job. Well, everybody's got an opportunity for a good job. They're just not cashing in on it. Right? It doesn't mean that you're guaranteed to get it, that you're guaranteed to keep it once you get it. Real opportunity carries risk. If you can't see the risk, maybe it's not a real opportunity. Oh, I like that, Jeremy. Comment constituents. That's pretty good. Join your fellow comment constituents. Now, I've got to be able to say it, though. Join your fellow comment constituents. Yeah. Uh, we also talked this week about um, freedom, um, and it, it plays into the risk and opportunity conversation, freedom does, because we have the freedom to make bad decisions, right? That's another, uh, another way we've misused this idea of opportunity, is that there's no... Um, well, anytime you start talking about a guarantee, then you're you're saving yourself. That's freedom from something, right? And when you say you're free from something, you first have to, have to acknowledge that that something is constraining you, right? So uh, we talked about that on Wednesday, I believe. Yeah, because we talked about that on the. Uh, I don't remember now. It's been a it's been a great week. We talked about that also, and then we talked about. The risk of what? What are you really afraid of? Right? And Joe had a really good comment along those lines uh, as we were developing that idea this week. And that is that your experience 
will influence how risky you think something is. If you have jumped a motorcycle across the Grand Canyon 121 times, you can be pretty confident that you can predict a successful outcome. But if you've never done it, that's pretty risky. I don't know if I can do that or not. Right? Probably not doing things as dangerous or as with innate risk like jumping a motorcycle across the Grand Canyon. But with experience, you, you can mitigate your perception of risk through experience. Ah, so risk does have something to do with perception and experience. Hmm, okay. So every once in a while, you can have a mentor who can share with you an idea. Sorry, that's shocking me there. Uh, yeah, every once in a while, you can have a mentor that can share with you an idea that they can say, this is not you know, as big a risk as you think it is because of X, Y, and Z. Still going to be up to you to execute, um, but take that input, right? Other people have different perspectives. They might broaden your horizons also. So those have been our topics this week. I see that at least from our comment constituents that are live, uh, got no questions this week. So that's awesome. That means I did a fantastic job of covering those topics. So uh, as you go into the weekend and get ready to begin your week next week, right? Use this conversation this week to evaluate opportunities as they come up. Is there risk? Yeah, sure. There's always going to be a little bit of risk, right? Even when you have that mentor that's telling you, you know, this is very likely going to work, you still have to execute the plan. So there's risk if you don't do that, right? But use this conversation to evaluate the opportunities that present themselves to you next week. Choose the ones that uh, move you toward your goal. Remember, if you know where you're trying to go, you can use that as a filter for decision making. Pursue the opportunities that move you closer to you, your goal. Pass on the ones that do not. And when you do that, you're much more likely to hit your goal. All right. You guys have a fantastic weekend. Remember, keep an eye out for me on Instagram over the weekend at Tom Rigsby. That's where I tend to post things on the weekend. We'll see how things go this weekend. You have a great one, and I will be back here Monday with another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. You guys take care.